Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Today is another what I eat in a day, kind of, I suppose. We'll try to make this day as interesting as possible because for the past few weeks I've been very demotivated. Yeah, it's been pretty rough, so hopefully today will be a good day for the vlog. Let's go. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, my handle is below. One of the things I like to do is the first thing I wake up, I will find something to post on my stories to reshare, something like that. And today's share is from Thrives. So it said, I thought being highly critical of myself would push me to be my best self. I was wrong. I feel that on another level because for a long time, I was angry at myself. I was mad at myself. I was constantly judging myself, telling myself that I needed to be better, needed to work harder, needed to be more disciplined and all of those things. While yes, maybe in some aspect I did need to push myself a little bit, talking to myself that way, not just in terms of work but most especially in terms of my body, was something that I thought would help me but it really didn't because the more I shamed myself, the worse it got. And this doesn't mean you're not going to push yourself or you're not going to motivate yourself to go further, to grow as an individual. This just means you don't have to do it in a way that makes you feel like crap. Instead of going to yourself in the mirror and saying, oh my god, you look so terrible today, you can say, that's your body, right? You don't have to say it with positivity, you can say it with neutrality. Instead of saying, my arms look so ugly, you can always just say, these are my arms and they have helped me, right? Or these are my legs and they help me walk. Simple things like that. Well, in terms of work, instead of saying, oh my god, you're so lazy, ask yourself, what are some things that I can do to push myself off the couch a little bit? You know what I'm saying? And when you are asking yourself things out of curiosity rather than judgment, it helps you move further. Instead of just constantly berating yourself, you're now giving yourself steps to move forward. So instead of insulting yourself, treat yourself with kindness and respect so that no matter what happens in the future, you will appreciate the progress, even if it's not completely towards your goal yet. I'm gonna go to the bathroom because tummy is growling. Feeling a little hungry before the workout. I'm gonna fuel up with half of this little protein bar. This is the pure protein bars, which actually have been one of my favorites, especially the chocolate peanut butter or the salted caramel one. The other flavors, not as much, and they are affordable. Change flavor, we're doing chocolate salted caramel. So I also don't really have an appetite in the morning, so really anything that's easy to eat is what works for me. Ta-da! Okay, folks, it's time to get dressed for the workout. I don't know what to wear yet. Let's see. I'm feeling to die, but oh, okay. Let's go with this. Let's go with this red top. And now for the bottom. Let's try orange leggings. Okay, I'm all dressed up, but since I'm not feeling the look and it took me too long to put on these leggings, I'm changing my top. All right, I like this much better. So this be the full look. I'm liking it. I'm living for it. Okay. It's gym time. Gym time. My gosh, my motivation has been so low recently. Like a while ago, I got dressed and I spent 30 minutes lying down because I didn't want to work out yet. So let's push today. Let's get this done. Just going to share with you guys my favorite workout bands. Donuts, pizzas, and bananas. This is from Fringe Fit. I'll link their shoppy down below and ta-da so cute i'm gonna go with this one because it fits our look even if it's the heavy band so i loaded my barbell at like what i thought was 75 kilos and then apparently it was only 65 kilos so i was like wow this feels so light and then i was wrong so wow good job joe first what are you gonna make but uh some bread with pesto but i broke the bread come on no break some bread <laughs> breaking bread breaking the bread i've been having difficulty making breakfast because i don't know what to eat i have no appetite and also it's so hot but I think I'm gonna make a little bit of like a scramble with some queso pote and then I'm gonna have some toast with that.
every day I try to do like a perfect omelet and every day I fail. <laughs> Maybe I should stop trying. So here's the first meal. So here's the first meal. <laughs> some egg and cheese, some tomato, some bread. Why is Jill part of it? Why am I not part of it? Okay. <laughs> Come on, Bob, hurry up! <laughs> I'm not that hungry yet because appetite's been low, so I'll just get some more snacks later, make sure I get some snacks, but at least I have to make sure I eat something in the morning. And then I'm gonna put in some cream cheese. Yum! <laughs> Bai doesn't want to be left out of the vlog, so she's gonna show her breakfast of cashew butter. So and I'm gonna put some of this chai spiced vanilla cashew butter on my bread. I have some fried chick on, so that's vegan chicken. And then I have some orange. Wait, get away. Why are y'all stealing my calories? Oh, it's so hot. We're <laughs> <laughs> uh, lucky. Hello. All done. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Yeah, it's in the vlog now. I'm gonna have some of this mango yogurt. You guys knew the level of um, <laughs> camera bombing that was happening right now. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That breakfast plus water got me like, ooh, ooh. yeah. All right, time to have my consultation of the day. So if you guys want nutrition consultations and stuff like that, the email is in the description. Have you ever experienced maybe emotional eating or binge eating? So just checking because I want to see your usual intake. So do you have any specific concerns that you want to know about? All right, guys, just finished the consult. Anyways, time for a meeting in a few minutes. I'm going to download some books. This is Bye. Elijah. He's, um, he's all the way in another country. Bye. Hi Elijah. It's lunch time. We got pizza from Pizza Plant. Bai is very excited because these are vegan pizza. And I think that's a jalapeno <laughs> chorizo. This one. This is a four cheese. Mm -hmm. The other one is artichoke and uh... Okay, let's start with the four cheese. Mm-hmm. That's a cheese, huh? It's good. Mm. It's a little lot. Too much flavor for me though. It's sour though. Lunch is done. The food was good, but I would give it a seven. Lunch is out done. Of the food is good. <laughs> seven out of ten in satisfaction. So I'm gonna give myself a few minutes and then I'm gonna have dessert. Shower time. I'm all showered up and yeah. So here's the thing. I have just not been doing very well mentally and as much as I wanna be productive and do stuff with my life. I've just not had the motivation or the will to do so. It's stressful because quarantine vibes are hitting again. Feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like, what is the point of life if we're gonna be stuck here anyway? Yeah. So I think I'm gonna take a nap. But first I'm gonna eat the um, half of the protein bar that I had from a while ago. Does that. I was supposed to nap for like an hour. I think it was an hour, 30 minutes, two hours almost. Time to grab a cold snack. I don't know what to eat for dinner, but I will have a piece of this for snack. So it's dinner time and I'm not so sure what to eat, but we got fresh bread from 28 Derby, so I'm gonna make myself a grilled cheese sandwich with some TVP, and then I'm gonna air fry some veggies. This is eggplant. I'm doing eggplant because it's just so easy, no fuss, and like, if you don't really wanna do a lot of time chopping the vegetable, eggplants might be. Good. But make sure you get the eggplants that don't have like holes in it because that is for sure gonna have worms. And we have a worm! We have a worm! <sighs> Bye! So now I'm gonna toss some oil and some salt and air fry it so it becomes nice and cooked. Initially I was gonna do like a grilled cheese sandwich but then I remember we have some white rice. Ta-da! White rice! <laughs> And I want some egg and cheese. So I did have two eggs this morning, but you can have up to like three eggs, especially if you're an average healthy individual. Plus, it's okay if you're gonna have eggs again, if you want it, right? I was thinking of having a sandwich because I was like, I don't wanna have eggs again because I had it a while ago. But then I was like, if that's what's really going to satisfy me, then I will have another egg for dinner. So that is what I'm going to do. Then finding that white rice fills me up more. So I'm eating more of that. <laughs> Thank you.
TVP. So here we have our rice. I'm gonna pop it off this eggplant. And of course, I gotta have my ketchup and some vegan mayo. So simple, so easy, nice and balanced. If you are having a lazy day, you don't know what to eat, this will definitely fill you up. Anyone else watch uh, playing Genshin? I've got Zhangling, Zingshu, Noel, and Jean in my team. I want Ketching, and I really want... Who's the other one that I want in it? Aside from Ningguang, Fischl... I want to make like a really cute girl group in my team. <laughs> so, yeah, I got Jean, by the way. She wasn't really my ideal in my girl group, but she's pretty strong. So I am now preparing because I have a session happening, usually at around 7 p.m. I have 20 minutes to prepare. If you're somebody who struggles with food guilt, feeling like you have to earn your food, struggle with body image, binging, emotional eating, and all of those things, and you want to heal your relationship with food and your body, I've started this group program where we talk about topics like why we binge, body image, dealing with fear foods, hunger and fullness, nourishing your body and of course piecing it all together to heal your relationship with food it's also you get a community with people who have gone through the same thing to support you and to work with you through it so if you guys are interested in that i have the link for the sign up sheet in the description it's called heal for today's session which is actually session number five for my first batch we're doing Nourish, which is about the basics of nutrition. Session over. That is the fifth session out of six sessions during the HEAL program for my first batch. We're almost done with the first batch. So I'm very excited for the second batch, third batch, and however many more. So if you guys are excited, I'm so excited because the progress that I've been seeing with everybody who is part of the batch and the community that we've been building. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And with that, I shall also be saying goodnight. I actually wanted to eat dessert, but... Then I got really tired and now I'm not in the mood for it anymore, so I'm gonna drink some water and then go to bed. I do want to emphasize the fact that this is simply one day that I'm showing and it's not representative at all of my overall intake and my daily intake. And this merely for meal inspirations or just to show you that you can have fun with food. <gasps> oh my god, I almost dropped my camera. <sighs> yeah. So if you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Till the next one. Remember that you always deserve to eat.